Good morning friends, we are starting with a lecture series on chromatography and the first lecture is on introduction to chromatography. Following are the portions which will be covered in this talk. Introduction, classification of chromatography and basic terminologies used. In year 1906, Russian scientist Swet performed the separation of different compounds using a stationary column and termed this technique chromatography. Chromatography is a Greek word with a meaning of color and graphy means to write. In this technique, the sample mixture to be separated is distributed between two phases. One is stationary that is a stagnant phase called stationary phase and another is moving which is called mobile phase. Chromatography is the technique that is used to separate mixture component by relative attraction of sample component to the stationary phase when mobile phase passes through the stationary phase. After the mixture is added to the stationary phase the mobile phase is allowed to flow continuously over it. The mixture will get partitioned between stationary phase and mobile phase and depending on the affinity of the compound, the sample will move downward. The compound which has less affinity for the stationary phase will move along with the mobile phase and it will get eluted first. The time required for a component to move a fixed distance or a distance a component travels in a fixed time can be used for qualitative analysis. Chromatography can be classified by three ways. The first way is based on physical means. It is called column chromatography where the chromatography is performed in a pirouette like column. The technique is called HPLC and GC. And the second physical means is a plane surface called planar chromatography. And the techniques are HPTLC, thin layer chromatography or paper chromatography as shown in the figure. Based on mobile phase, chromatography is classified into further three types liquid chromatography. In this technique, the mobile phase is liquid and the stationary phase used is solid called solid liquid chromatography or liquid solid chromatography and if the stationary phase is liquid coated on solid support, this technique is called liquid liquid chromatography. The second type of mobile phase used is gas chromatography. If the stationary phase used is solid, it is called gas solid chromatography and if the stationary phase used is liquid coated on solid support, the technique is called gas liquid chromatography. The third type of mobile phase that can be used is supercritical fluid and the chromatography is called supercritical fluid chromatography. So, the overall classification of chromatography based on mobile phase is either a liquid chromatography, gas chromatography or a supercritical fluid chromatography. In liquid chromatography, your stationary phase may be solid, may be liquid coated on a solid, it may be ion exchange resin, it may be polymers or it may be ligand bound to the solids. Similarly, in gas chromatography, your stationary phase may be solid or a liquid coated on a solid. The third way of classifying chromatography is based on the chromatographic principles. It may be adsorption, it may be partitioning, it may be ion exchange, it may be size exclusion or it may be affinity chromatography. Now let's see 
different terminologies used in chromatography. First is chromatogram. It is a plot of detector response as a function of time or mobile phase volume, which is called chromatogram. This is a time called a retention time and this is y-axis. This plot is called as chromatogram, a detector response as a function of time. Partition coefficient. The concentration of sample in stationary phase as compared with the concentration in the mobile phase is called partition coefficient k and k is equal to concentration in stationary phase upon concentration in mobile phase. But practically it is not possible to determine the value of k. The related term capacity factor k dash can be determined and that can be used for qualitative analysis. If we substitute the value of concentration in above equation, the equation will be k is equal to ms upon vs upon mm upon vm where concentration may be called as mass upon volume. So the equation is ms vm upon mm vs is equal to k dash vm upon vs where ms and mm are the number of moles of species in stationary phase and mobile phase respectively and vs and vm are the volume of stationary phase and mobile phase inside the column k dash is called the capacity factor Another term is retention time. It is a time required to elute a sample component from the stationary phase by mobile phase. Retention volume. It is the volume of mobile phase required to elute the sample component from the stationary phase. It is also defined as a product of retention time and flow rate. Widely used term is dead time and dead volume. The volume of liquid in the column is called void volume and the corresponding time required is called dead time. Date time is also defined as time required for mobile phase to move from one end of the stationary phase to the other. The average linear rate of solute migration V is represented as V is equal to L by T where L is the length of the column and T is the retention time of the column. The another factor, capacity factor, is also called as retention factor. And K dash is equal to K Vs upon Vm. Reduced retention time. The difference between total retention time and date time is called reduced retention time. And similarly, there is a reduced retention volume which is a difference between total retention volume and date volume. The ratio of reduced retention volume to void volume is called retention factor k dash. This is another way how we can determine the capacity factor or retention factor k dash. It is a reduced retention volume to void volume that is V up minus V0 upon V0.
Another term is relative retention or selectivity factor alpha. In chromatography, qualitative analysis of sample is performed by comparing retention time or retention volume of the sample with respect to the retention time of standard compound. If the experimental conditions are same, the relative retention can be explained by following equation. Relative retention alpha is equal to reduced retention time of sample upon reduced retention time of reference compound. It can also be expressed as retention time of sample upon partition coefficient of reference that is partition coefficient of sample upon partition coefficient of reference compound. Another term retention ratio R is the ratio of date time to the retention time that is T0 upon T. One of the important parameter is column efficiency. It is measured by estimating two parameters, plate height that is capital H and number of theoretical plates. Scientist Martin and Singe proposed the plate theory to evaluate column efficiency. According to this theory, column is divided into hypothetical plates and at each plate, the sample is equilibrated between stationary phase and mobile phase. Smaller the plate height or greater the number of plates, the more efficient analyte exchange is possible between two phases. So a parameter called height equivalent theoretical plate HETP is the length of column corresponding to a single theoretical plate and it can be calculated using following equation h is equal to length of the column upon n where n is the number of theoretical plate and number of theoretical plate n can be determined by e squared where t is the retention time of the compound upon variance or for a symmetrical peak n is equal to 16 upon t e upon w whole square where t is the retention time and w is the peak width. Many a times peak width instead of peak width width at half peak height can also be used to calculate number of theoretical plates and the equation is 5.54 in the bracket t upon w half whole square where w half is the peak width at half height. For asymmetric peak the efficiency is determined using asymmetric factor and asymmetric factor AF is equal to B by A which is a ratio of peak width to the right of the retention time and peak width to the left of the retention time that is B upon A. If peak is symmetrical the asymmetric factor is 1 but if peak is exhibiting tailing or fronting the asymmetric factor may vary from 1. Another parameter is resolution which is measure of ability of a column to separate to analyte and the resolution can be determined using equation r is equal to 2 in the bracket t2 minus t1 upon w1 plus w2 where t1 and t2 are the retention time of two adjacent peak and w1 and w2 are the peak width. Another term is 